good morning children here we are with a chapter measurement now measurement is nothing new for you you have done few part of it in third standard you have done some part of it in fourth standard and now you will be doing little more updated version of measurement that is measurement of length measurement of weight measurement of capacity now these terms are not at all new for you. So today's video will be just introduction of measurement of these concepts, just a recapitulation of what we have learned up till now. And then of course we will start with all the exercises. Measurement is defined as the act of measuring the size of something. An example of measurement means the use of a ruler to determine the length of a piece of paper. When I pick up my scale, I pick up the scale to measure some length. It can be length of a piece of paper, it can be length of a piece of a compass, it can be length of a piece of ribbon, it can be length of a piece of pencil, your eraser, your sharpener, and so on. Right? So that is what the measurement means, the use of a ruler. Now, a measurement can also mean use of a weighing machine to weigh a fruit, to weigh a book, to weigh myself, to weigh, um, let's say, a bulk of some stationary items. So that will be the weight of those items. Measurement means use of a jar to measure the amount of liquid that I have. When I fill up a bottle with water and if that bottle's capacity is one liter, I say, okay, I have one liter of water with me right now. So these are measurements. We can use measure, we can measure many different things, but most commonly that we measure in our day-to-day -day life is some length, some area, some perimeter, some volume, some mass and time. You just did time and temperature, isn't it? You just finished with time and temperature and we saw, saw that we use a clock to measure time. We saw we use a thermometer to measure temperature. So similarly, I can measure length, I can measure volume, I can measure mass, I can measure capacity by using different instruments. Okay, so length you see across so many things. You, you see a long measuring tape, a ruler, you see a, you know, a, a when we are traveling, we see a milestone there written, okay, Hyderabad, 250 kilometers, right? Then you do comparison of lengths, just a general comparison of length. Something is bigger, something is shorter, something is equal. You use a ruler, you use a measuring tape. Something is taller, something is shorter, something is longer. Isn't it? So you use different instrument to measure it. You have a non-standard of measuring units and you have standard measuring units. Like when I just use my footstep to measure the length of my room, when I just use my hand span to measure the length of my desk, right now on which I'm sitting and taking this, recording this video, or when I measure my arm length, you must have seen mama measuring a material, a clock material by her arm length. Those are non-standard units of measurement. But when I take a measuring tape or the two instruments that are being showed, when I fix something on the scale and measure it accurately, okay, this instrument is used by the architects. This instrument is used to measure the thickness of something. This particular instrument is used to measure the thickness of something. But thickness is also have got some length, okay? So this may, you fix it inside and it measures the thickness. This instrument is also used to measure the thickness or maybe the length accurately. 
Then what do we have with us? So measurements, Jaya and his mother wanted to measure their length. They use a door to mark their height. This is a non-standard unit of measuring length. Now, you know, I have an estimate that my door height is seven feet. So Jaya and mom stand there and they measure. Mom compares her height with the door height and Jaya compares his height with the with mama's height. So these are non-standard units of measurement. So many times you stand with your friend, oh, I'm taller than you. You say to your friend, oh, you are shorter than me. So these are non-standard units of measurement. But what are the standard units of measurement? The standard units of measurements you already know is millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. Millimeter, centimeter, meter, and kilometer. To measure smaller length, to measure smaller length, we use millimeter or centimeter. To measure larger lengths, we use kilometer or meter. Meter jo hai beach mein aata hai. It can sometimes measure the door height, which is not a very huge length. Or maybe for uh, huge num uh, length of cloth, it can be used to meter. To meter smaller mein bhi aata hai, larger mein bhi aata hai. But specifically for smaller length, we use millimeter and centimeter. And for the longer distance, we use kilometer, that is km. We know the conversion. We can convert the units, smaller units to bigger and bigger units to smaller. We know that very clearly. We know it that when we do the conversion, every 10 millimeter is one centimeter. Every 100 centimeter is one meter. And every thousand meter is one kilometer. Even I'm not going to discuss these topics, uh, you know, in broad because you have already you already know this. You have done so many questions also in fourth standard. And of course, the simultaneous conversions can be done from smaller unit to bigger unit. We multiply from bigger unit to smaller unit. We divide by the conversion rates. Whatever the conversion rate is, 10, 100, and 1000. So we convert from bigger unit to smaller, we multiply. From bigger, smaller unit to bigger, we divide. To convert kilometers to millimeters, we multiply by 1000. Like an example is given here 4 kilometers to meters. So we divide, multiply it by 1000, and I get 4000 meters. If a school bus driver drove 9,200 meters from the school to the farm, how much distance did he drive in kilometer? Now here, meter to kilometer is a conversion from smaller unit to bigger unit. That means I should be dividing it by 1,000 because one kilometer is 1,000 meters. So, 9200 will be divided by 1000 and i will get the answer 9 kilometer 200 meters thus the school driver drove 9 kilometer 200 meter from the school to the farm measurement of mass weight the balance scales okay we use the balance scales to measure weight of something. Different types of measuring scales you see, the balance scales you see across, some on which you stand and measure your weight. This is the one on which the huge tons are measured, this one. They are used in godowns, the big sags are kept on it, like that, or maybe very heavier things are kept on it, okay? This is also a type of, uh, small measurement stuff, okay, uh, for grams. You must be seeing this in the uh, jeweler's shop where a lot of things are measured in maximum grams, milligrams, okay? And then, of course, this is a very common weighing machine that is used at most of the shops for weighing uh, vegetables or maybe weighing pulses at the grocery store. So these are the different examples that we see of the weighing balance scales. Okay, 
So you can measure your weight, your mass basically in kg or in milligram. You must have seen these weights around so frequently so much and with the weight amount written on it 20 kg, 10 kg, 5 kg, 1 kg, half kg and so on. So the metric units used for measurement of weight of measurement of mass is kilograms, grams and milligrams. That is kg, g and mg. Equivalent units of mass that is metrices of kilograms is kg is 1000 grams. One gram is 1000 milligrams. 1 kg is 1000 grams and 1 gram is 1000 milligrams. Choose the metric unit to measure mass. Choose the metric unit to measure mass. That is, if I weigh the lashes of my eyes, I would weigh it in milligrams. If I weigh a pin or something, a eraser, a sharpener, a pencil, I will measure it in grams. If I weigh a book, I will weigh it in kilograms. And of course, the conversion rate is 1000 for both. So when I want to convert from bigger to smaller or smaller to bigger, the same rule follows that is smaller to bigger is divided by 1000 and bigger to smaller is multiplied by 1000. How many grams are in 12? kilograms 12 kg we know 1 kg is equal to 1000 grams so 12 kg will be equal to 12000 grams multiply it by 1000 the next one of course the same rules conversion from bigger to smaller smaller to bigger we multiply and bigger to small sorry <laughs> bigger to smaller we multiply and smaller to bigger we divide this rule is like a table. The moment you say it, you should fill in the blanks quickly. And conversion rate here in both the cases is 1000, not like in case of length uh, from milligrams to centimeter is 1000, sorry, 10. Then for centimeter to meter is 100 and vice versa. But here in both the cases, it's 1000. We saw it here. Okay milligram, gram, and kilogram, the conversion rate for both is 1000, okay? So let's see more what we have. Measurement of capacity. Measurement of capacity is what? You know ML. I bought 500 ml of milk today. Mama bought 1 liter of milk today. I went to buy 1 liter of milk from the grocery store. I have a bottle which is 1 liter in capacity. I bought a big bottle. It can hold 1 liter of water. I bought a bottle of Coke which, can, which is of 600 ml. I bought a can of Pepsi, which is of 300 ml. I bought a small bottle of cold drink, which is of 200 ml. I bought a tetra pack of juice, which is of one liter. I bought a tetra pack of juice, a small tetra pack of juice, which is of 200 ml. These are the terms you see around or you speak. Mama says you need to take 5 ml of medicine. She puts it in a measuring cup and then she gives you 5 ml, 7 ml or 10 ml depending on which medicine she's giving you. Or if you have a small brother, a small, very small brother, sister, Mama uses a dropper because the brother and the sister, they cry so much that they hold their mouth and with the dropper, they put 1 ml or 2 ml of medicine in their mouth. So you see such measuring, measuring apparatus or instruments. That means they have the capacity to hold that much of liquid. Okay, 
they have the capacity to hold that much of liquid. I cannot hold one liter of water in my hand and put it on the weighing machine. Okay, I cannot hold one liter of milk in my hand and pour it in a glass. No, you have to pour from one container to another or from packet, tetra packet or a packet of milk. Even they have a capacity to hold that much of milk or a juice. So, these are all the containers which can hold liquid of that much capacity. These are all containers which have the capacity to hold that much of liquid. Like in the bucket, there is one liter of milk. There is this huge tank of water on the top of every building which holds around, you know, uh, 200 liter of water and so on. So capacity is how much a container can hold. A cup, a glass, a jar, a can, a water can a milk can like that you can see a jar here which has one liter of milk which has got three foot liter of milk or water the metric units of capacity is milliliter and liter 1000 milliliter is which represents ml is one liter which is represented by capital m now, a gas in cast tank liters, liquid in a thimble milliliters, medicine in a teaspoon is milliliter again. So, the conversion rate between the two is 1000 ml is equals to 1 liter. Choose the correct metric unit for the task, which would be the best metric unit to use to find the mass of a dog. Are you going to measure the mass of a dog in kilograms? kilometers, liters or milligrams. I'm going to measure it in kilograms. Which would be the best metric unit to use to find the length of a football field? Kilograms, liters, meters or centimeters? Obviously, it will be meters. Conversion units of capacity. Again, it is 1000. So, if I want to go from smaller to higher, I divide. From higher to smaller, I multiply. 3 liter is equal to 3000 ml. 4 liter is 4000 ml. 5 liter is 5000 ml. Sorry. So, these are the capacities which a container can hold. Okay. In terms of milliliters, and liters. So with this, I finish my introduction of measurement of length, uh, measurement of mass, measurement of capacity. Okay. So children, in the next uh, videos and next live session, we will directly start with the exercises. And this time, the exercise will also include decimals because now we are well introduced with decimals and we know how to deal with decimals. So now we are going to have measurement in decimals also. Okay, so how to do the addition, subtraction, division, multiplication of these measurements which are in decimals. And we are going to go ahead. Don't worry. It's not going to be so difficult, children. With this, I stop my video here and I'll see you all for the live session on Monday. Any doubts, please hold up and ask me in Monday's session. Thank you so much and have a good day.